Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! It's Jinsper here! So today, I will be replying to some of the questions that were submitted by the contestants that I have chosen. So, Q&A with Jinsper! Okay, let's start now. First question. What is your full name? My full name is Jane Allen Paradero as Jane Spur. And how old are you? I'm 28 years old. Number three, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers. So I'm the second sibling and I have third sibling. And number four, what is your province here in Philippines? Upaw pinamungahan Cebu. Number five, what is your profession now? I am a registered nurse in Philippines, but in Canada, no, because I need to study one year, upgrade it. Number six, what are the things that makes you happy? I will be happy if I, be, if I have a lot of gold, of course. <laughs> Number seven, what are the things that makes you sad? If I forgot my phone at home and then I realize that I don't have phone, so I feel sad. Number eight, have you contented with your life now? The answer is yes. Even I felt content, but I'm still hoping to win a lottery. Number nine, what is the most embarrassing moments that you encountered? My embarrassing moments was when I was in caregiver school, when we had a dancing contest and then when I was on the stage, I forgot the stepping. So I felt I had a mental block, felt so empty. Number 10, do you believe in destiny? Yes. The answer is yes, because no matter what I, we do, destiny always finds our ways. For me, destiny is like a path that I walk into even wherever I go. So what are the lessons that you learn from your parents? To answer honestly, I didn't grow up with my parents. My as I know, I was three years as my father died and my mother was not around. So, yeah. Uh, and then, when I was five years old, my mother uh, have a child, had a child, three months old. She gave me the three months old and then I felt that um, I learned how to, so that time I learned how to be a mother of a three months baby or three months old baby so number 12 what is your favorite place to tell you honestly i really liked canada um, <clears throat> the best place to live in where everyone's so nice and the weather is, so, is good number 13 what is your favorite food in in what country my favorite food is pork adobo from in Philippines from my college friend in Philippines, which his name is Kent Labra. So, Amiga, hi Amiga. So once you tasted his food, it's always it's so it's once you tasted his food, you're always wanted. So number fourteen, what is the lesson that you can share to your followers? The lesson that I learned better to tell the truth than to lie so never tr never lie to anybody number 15 do you have a boyfriend um no, i don't have boyfriend i don't have boyfriend but i'm married so next questions number one other questions is from my contestant second winner Number one, how would you describe yourself? Um, I think uh, I am driven, I am reliable, and 
I'm curious. I'm always curious, yeah. But I'm comfortable adjusting to any situation and don't get flustered right away. And I really enjoy. I'm adventurer. <laughs> yes, I'm adventurer. Hmm. Number two, what are the most important things to you in life? The more the important um, the most important is being healthy or, or or being healthy because without good health our lives can be sh cut short you know life is too short by eating a balanced diet and engaging in regular physical activity and maintain a healthy lifestyle can reduce the risk of any chronic diseases and uh, like for example heart disease and a cancer <laughs> so uh, sh maintain a lifestyle not uh, life uh, not, not a sedentary lifestyle so yeah, the sedentary is like you're just uh, sitting all day watching movies and eating junk foods then you didn't move so that's a sedentary life that's not good and also friends and family because I feel that I feel that I exist in this world to the world and can able to share my happiness and also uh, most important things is in my life is purpose having a purpose is a fundamental uh, not having a purpose makes us uh, more vulnerable to boredom anxiety and depression you know because you think that you're alone or you think that it keep thinking that you don't have purpose what is your purpose in this world so you should think that so and also time you should value your time because time is really matters uh, the time is really matters to me uh, time is precious and priceless and it should be taken at uh, taken advantage of so yeah that's it so number three how did people see you differently than you see yourself Actually, I always consider myself to be taught to be a thoughtful person. So I never have a problem listening of what uh, people say or what they think of me. As I and I always think because I always think that it's all a joke. So I think, uh, uh, like for example. I really dislike my friends, but in my unconsciously perceived that as a feeling I couldn't have. Like, instead I believe myself that I dislike my friends, but actually I like them. I like my friends. So, yeah, do you understand that? You think that you don't like your... It's just your imagination. You think that... You don't like your friends, but when you see them, you feel hi, hi, hi. You feel friendly. So, so if they invite you to go uh, somewhere like dinner, so you go with them because you like them. So that's just your feeling. It's just your imagination. Uh, I hate them. I hate them. Just like that. So number four, what are the achievements you are proud of? F frankly, I'm just proud of the fact that I managed to survive in nursing school or when I was a student. It was a difficult life for me. Being a life of sorrow was a fruitful outcome. I was, I was able to complete my nursing degree. Yes. Number five, if you achieve all of your goals in life, how would you feel 
And what did you do to feel that way as you work to achieve them? Honestly, I've always, uh, honestly, um, I'll be, of course, I'll be happy, of course. And uh, I always pray for Thanksgiving uh, that I receive, uh, that I, my wish granted. So I feel very happy and yeah, that's all. I just pray, that's all. <laughs> Give Thanksgiving and and if the people that I involved, I give them free lunch. I invite them for lunch. Yeah. So number six, what do you, what do you work, what do you want your life to be in five years? In five years, I can see myself to be a boss of my own business. Number seven, what bad habits do you want to cultivate? Always be positive. Learn how to turn negatives into positive ones. Like for example, of negative emotions, anger, greed, and jealousy. So everyone feel jealous or jealous. We can turn greed into generosity, anger into joy, jealous into admin admiration. By doing this, we can create positive energy around us and have a much better have a chance of better chance of having a good life next question number nine what's the most important lesson you've learned so far in life are you living with that lesson i have two things uh i have two things uh i've learned first Never talk and trust to strangers or friends. Never, never trust. Unless, uh, I'm not sure, but it becomes, uh, I always think every time I believe them because I, I have my own mind. I have my own, yeah, decision if I want to believe them. So, yeah next number two uh, don't always trust the don't always trust your instincts or yeah you have to think it twice like you make a decision you want to make a decision you have to think it twice not just like right now i want it now i want it now so you have to think it very carefully, carefully. So number six, look at your life now. Are you living the life of your dreams? To tell you honestly, yes, as my dreams is to, have, is to live here in Canada and be happy, happy, and have a book. Oh, yeah, happy. Number 11, what are your biggest goals and dreams? My goals is, my biggest goal is leave my job without needing another. Like for example, you you work, you got the job, you start working, and then after three months you resign because you applied another again. Don't do that. Well, I don't know if you like that. I just keep going, but I'm just advising. <laughs> and also my my dreams is able to speak in a stage in front of thousands of people and be comfortable with it because i never tried that i want to try that number 12 if you are to do something for free for the rest of your life what would you do or what would you what what would you what would you do <laughs> the answer is 
To answer the test questions, I would like to make everything easier since it's free. I will be donating some of the free to other country that's in need or help the other people who are in need. I will use my power to make life easier by making everything accessible or I will develop a robot that can make everything free forever <laughs> for the whole world. I wish. Number 13. What would you do today if there is no tomorrow? My answer is this. The, seriously, this is a difficult question for me. Because I always thought that there will be always tomorrow. So for that, I would like to invite all my families and friends to have a dinner with me and enjoy the rest of my life, the rest of the day. Save the last dance for me. Number 14. Who has quality that, qualities that you aspire to develop? Honestly, I've always uh, admired to the people who can speak in public because they are so brave and daring to their acting and can accomplish anything uh, right away because they're strong. But I want to try that. I want to strong. Number 15. If you have one million dollars, what will you with it? What will you do with it? Mentally, my answer is I will buy a house for my family and buy a business to multiple to one million. And once I have a lot of money, I will donate the one million dollar to charity. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Next questions, the third uh, contestant. Number one, what are your morning and evening routine? Guys, my morning routine is very simple. First, to take shower and drink lemon, and then uh, before and then have cereal with milk and before I go to work before I go to work and my evening routine after wash was after washing my face I eat my dinner and watch movies and then go to sleep let's see it's very simple number two your most memorable vacation memory my most memorable was in Shanghai, China because there was a food court which has a lot of variety of foods where you cannot see it anywhere. Yeah. In Philippines, we have food court also, but there it was so big, all food court and yeah, it's very nice. The food are so good. So number three, tell us one thing about yourself we wouldn't know. Uh, this is my true story. When I was uh, nine, nine years, something like, oh, 10 years, I think, I drank one gallon of vinegar <laughs> because I was too curious. I thought uh, it was coconut wine, but it was fine for me, it was good one gallon in one hour but it's okay curiosity it's a curiosity can kill you <laughs> so number four what is the craziest the what is the craziest thing you have done when i was seven years old i cut uh, classes before so that i can go to the river and swim with my brother and cousin but that's not so crazy though <laughs> it's just uh you know you want to play of course because you're young so you have to make way for that so number five have you failed at anything and did you learn honestly <laughs> i can't recall but um because I take everything as a challenge 
so I never think failed it's a failure yes so you just keep try and try until you success so I think that you think it's a challenge failed it's a challenge failure it's a challenge you should think that number six how many countries have you traveled to? My answer is, I have traveled five countries. Uh, Hong Kong, but it's not part of, it's not country, but it's part of China. Hong Kong, China, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, South Korea. So, but I am from Philippines and living in Canada. So number seven, what do you do in, uh, in your free time? My free time is I do vlog and watch movies and sometimes I write a poem. I have a lot of poem now. Um, reading the, about the news and research something that can make me learn. Okay. And travel around here. Number eight. Do you have any word quirks? Honestly, I don't have that because I can control myself and I never notice it. So I can tell. Number nine, what is one thing you wish people knew about you? One thing I wish people knew about me is that I'm honest. I'm honest. And always uh, do what I say. Meaning, I'm a person of integrity, Joe. Right? I'm a person of integrity and you should do so you should be and you should number 10 what is the biggest struggle you overcome when I was six years old story again <laughs> when I was six years old my grandfather and I went to ride a boat and 